Hey guys, what is up? Today I thought I would go show you a local movies, book, and video game store that's kind of around here. It's one of my favorite places to go to look for collectible items and just really cool things. And today we are in the hunt for maybe some Dragon Ball Z items. I only need one more box set to complete uh, my Dragon Ball Z collection and I might actually get to buy that today. So let's go.
Oh my gosh, they have men. I need the poor to go Vidal. with Here's Fidel. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, yes. Jacob. Get Fidel. Oh no, here we go. Is that Jacob? Yes. Shirtless Jacob like. <laughs> Do I want Fidel and Goku? You want Fidel and Jacob. <laughs> but at least Fidel. I don't think about Goku, I'm probably end up putting him back, but you know. Like pops, but Videl never comes around. Alrighty guys, so I did just make it back home from my awesome McKay's trip and I figured why not do a little haul video for you as well so I can show you all the awesome, awesome items that I got today. So, let's begin. The first item I'm going to show you is not for me personally. I did buy it for my fiance just because I saw it and I knew he'd absolutely love it. So, here we go. It is the little, like, gaming joysticks that you put on like on top of them so it's like softer easier to use but it is overwatch ones he loves overwatch so I knew that this would be a really awesome gift for him and I think these were just like four bucks so can't pass it up the next item I got is still not for me personally it's a gift that my fiance told me that he really wanted for his birthday and I just happened to find it at McKay's so here it is it's one of those little model kits build it yourself 
of Barbatos from Iron Blooded Orphans. He has wanted this forever. Barbatos is his favorite. And I was so happy when I found this. They had it there for only $22, which is awesome because these are usually a little bit more expensive. I'm really happy that all the pieces are inside and it has not been built yet. I have bought these model kits before from a case where they have already been built themselves. Like my little Vegeta that I had in one of the last videos I showed you. But that's okay. But I knew he would really want to build it himself. So I was so thrilled that he was not built. So there we go. So as you saw earlier in the video that they had a lot of pop figures there. And I definitely found some Dragon Ball Z ones. So of course I had to buy them. Uh, one of the first ones I found. Call a dog here off of this. <laughs> was Goku! So I do already have a Goku pop figure, which is the Flying Nimbus one, but I do not have adult Goku. Super Saiyan Goku. Let's get a better look at him. He's wearing the jacket. He was from this collection, so here's the other pops from the collection. But I love him. I love his little jacket. I haven't decided if I'm going to take him out of the box yet. I didn't take Bulma or Flying Nimbus Goku out of the box, but I do have the out-of-the-box Piccolo. But... I don't know. I have all this room on my shelf to fit a more Dragon Ball Z collectibles. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see if I decide to keep them in the box or not. So, the next item I got was another pop figure, of course. It's a pop figure that I have been wanting ever since it came out. And that is Videl. They had young Videl from Season 7 in the Great Saiyan Saga. And I am so happy Videl is my all-time favorite Dragon Ball Z girl character. As a kid, I loved her so much. I always felt a kind of connection between Videl. I loved her very strong personality. She was a strong, strong lady. And that's why I loved her so much. And I must say, I'm so happy that Videl is now a DLC character in Dragon Ball Fighter Z. That made me really happy, but... Anyway, I am very happy to have this pop figure. I don't know if I'll take it out of the box yet or not either. Um, I really want the Dragon Ball Gals uh, Videl, but until then, this one will definitely hold me over, and I love her. And I'm really hoping at some point they can make like a Great Saiyan Man pop figure, maybe. I would really love like a Great Saiyan Man and Great Saiyan Girl like two in one like pop figure collection. I think that would be so cool. I cannot wait to put her up on my shelf back here. Alright, so the next item is a Dragon Ball Z game that I have always, always wanted, so I was very happy to find it at McKay's, and that is Dragon Ball Fusion. I've always wanted to play this game. It always caught my eye, especially because Pan is on the very front of it, and especially as a kid, Pan was always one of my favorite Dragon Ball GT characters, aside from Trunks, but I love Pan. I know a lot of people hate Pan because she's annoying or whatever, but I personally love Pan. So that's one of the reasons this game did always catch my eye. But I've seen it all over online and I think I only spent about $30 on this game which is awesome and I love the art for it. I love the chibi characters. I do and I'm so excited to play this later tonight. So the next item I bought is something that actually makes me so so happy because for years I have been collecting the Dragon Ball Z DVD box sets and today I found the last one I needed. Season 6. But this is the last one I needed to complete my DVD collection and I am so so excited. So now I own all of the Dragon Ball Z and it's so exciting so I've been collecting it for years. <laughs> last but not least my final item of this haul was Dragon Ball Season 3. So now that I have collected all of Dragon Ball Z I need to finish collecting all of Dragon Ball. So I own Season 1 and 2. I do not have 2 with me at the moment because my cousin is borrowing it. But I finally have season three, and the best thing about this is it's still in the plastic wrapping, so it has not even been used or opened. So that's exciting that I got a brand new Dragon Ball season three, and I only paid $21 for this, which is awesome. Here is my DVD collection. So there's season one, there's where two would be, but I don't have it with me at the moment, and three. And then season one through nine, all of GT. The original Broly movies, Wrath of the Dragon, that's one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z movies, History of Trunks on VHS, and of course, The Resurrection F and Battle of Gods. Hi, Roxy! You interested to know what I'm doing? Hi, honey. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this McKay's vlog. Thank you for joining me in McKay's today. 
I had a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of fun watching. And thank you so much for watching again. Thank you for staying. If you did stay all the way till the end to see all the awesome, awesome items I got. I think the most exciting thing I got today besides finishing my Dragon Ball Z collection was the Dragon Ball Fusions game. I'm so excited to play that later today. You know, I hopefully I enjoy the game. That's the one thing I'm hoping for. But anyway, guys, like I said, thanks again so much for watching. If you did like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.